look at these glaciers over here, these mountains, and there's no one to stop you or to, to question you or, or to limit your boundaries. I think extreme is anything that you're pushing the limits and there's a matter of consequence involved. From the rugged snow-capped glaciers of the mighty Chugach Mountains in Alaska, this is the Budweiser O'Neill King of the Hills Snowboard Tournament. First up in shred ready, Matt Goodwell from Everett, Washington. Matt's the tournament's defending champion and the first rider to tackle the 47 degree pitch on Mount Billy Mitchell. He looks dialed in on the powder right there. Yeah. A nice launch off a big rock lip. This is the extreme day, the third of three days of free riding competition. The judges looking for big air, aggressive technical turns, good control and flashing speed. Another little hit for Goodwill there. That fall will not count off by the judges if a rider can recover quickly and smoothly. <laughs> Matt using all the terrain. He's a big board rider, and this is a sahui run on some truly insane terrain. And there are the scores for defending champion Matt Goodwill. Next up, Jay Liska from Anchorage, Alaska. Liska, the founder of the Alaska Free Riding Foundation. Yeah. <laughs> grooving on some great potter right here. Let's go rip on a nice uh, run on this totally gnarly course. Everything from yeah. super chowder powder to bulletproof glacial ice. Nice. Now slicing through some of the windblown powder. You hear the helicopter in the back. That's how these competitors get back up top. Jay Liska from Anchorage, Alaska, a native of Alaska, looking for a big hit to finish off this nice run. Yeah. See the chocolate chips, as they call them, the rock outcroppings. And a nice front toe grab for Jay Liska to finish off an excellent run. Cut till you hit. She goes to the right. Nice. Ooh. There's lots of rocks in there close. Good job. Oh my God. Don't think he's a beautiful day up here in Valdez, Alaska. Right to hook left. Instead of, I mean, hook right instead of left. The 1995 Budweiser O'Neill King of the Hill Snowboard Tournament. Brought to you by Budweiser. Beachwood Age Budweiser, the king of beers. This Bud's for you. And by Apocalypse Snowboard, made in the USA. Hot hits and insane terrain coming your way next on the King of the Hill. We can't say this guy is the best border just because he does the extreme because there's a lot more to snowboarding than extreme there's downhill racing and there's freestyle so basically in order to find the best all-around snowboarder in the world we have to combine all three disciplines in one event extreme sites are pretty straight up big face big cliffs steep walls lots of air you know the downhill day 
not so steep, but long and powdered. Freestyle day, I just need wind lips and hits and gullies and stuff like that. Not too steep, probably 40 degrees, but long. LA bringing them back up for more action. Here's our current men's leaderboard. The scores compiled over the two previous days competition. Steve Klassen from Mammoth, California on top. Alex Warburton from Whistler, BC second. Matt Goodwill from Everett, Washington third. Andy Hetzel of Salt Lake City, Utah fourth. And Darren Mattingly from Girdwood, Alaska is fifth. This is Darren Mattingly, a native Alaskan. Praying to the snowboard guys that this is a hot run. Mattingly known as the extreme Alaskan here at this competition. This is his second year running in the King of the Hill competition. Five years a performer here with the World Extreme Skiing Championship. So he goes both ways. Knows his stuff and knows these slope to the extent that they can be known. This is a virgin run. These snowboarders have had one look at it in the helicopter ride up, but no one has touched it until today. Flashback to downhill day and scope Mattingly flashing through this section. Super speed and just the kind of thing the judges are looking for on downhill. Back to today's extreme run where the judges are scoring for big air, steeps, and technical carving with lots of aggression. And Mattingly showing the whole package. This now is Andy Hetzel or the Hetz. Hetzel spends winters in the Wasatch Mountains outside Salt Lake City, Utah, on the white waves of the mountains there, and summers on the surf of San Diego, California. Nice hit there, and you see the surfer's style sits back a little bit, keeps the tip of the board up, and floats fast through the pow pow in this upper section. Flashback to freestyle day and get a load of this. Monster flip off the big cornice and you know the judges like that. Let's look again in slow motion. Check the awesome landing and the pull back to form. Back to extreme day and Hetz is really flashing this run. The entire mountain 6,800 vertical accessed only by hiking or helicopter. Today's run 3,500 vertical feet with an average pitch of 47 degrees. Some two to three day old powder and cobalt blue skies, 45 degree temperatures for our competitors today. And the judges looking for aggressiveness, fluidity, difficulty of line, course transition and control. Flying into the finish, the silver surfer strikes again, Andy Hetzel. Now on course with Jason Beaton. Beaton hacked it up on the downhill day, scoring only 11 points. But he's come back stronger each day. In the freestyle day, he scored 27 points. Really needs to rip a sweet run here to have any chance to be king of the hill for 1995. Hey guys. Again, a little bonking's not bad if you're back up and into it immediately, just like right there. Hesitation can cost you, however, in this quote unquote insane terrain. Nice little front toe grab there. Feet now slowing down just a little bit, looking to scope the sickest and gnarliest line. Big hit or air launch here could easily impress the judges who are just below. Right here on the course is being like just right in their face. And a nice loop front ripping down the course to the finish line. Jason Beaton. Just over the next hill, our Shred Bettys are women competitors, including defending champion Julie Zell.
you have the freedom of uh, large cash deposits from sponsors, then you got the freedom to ride anywhere, <laughs> and then you're stoked, you know? They'll trade money for rides. Yeah. <laughs> freedom, rides, and money. That's what it's all about for the Budweiser O'Neill King of the Hill Snowboard Tournament. That also covers our Queens of the Hill as we first zoom in on goofy foot rider Marguerite Cosentine of Australia. Cosentine, a first timer in the extreme competition. This is her very first time to Alaska as well. Flashback to downhill day. And you can see the women can hang with the guys when it comes to going fast. Speed, the only criteria on downhill day. Keep it in control and go as fast as you can. Oh, and a big bonk for Marguerite Cosentine and the chowder stash. Back to extreme day and the steep chutes known as Mount Billy Mitchell. Little hit right there, a little bit of a slide for life as well. That will count off, but imagine putting a ladder up against your house. That's the degree of pitch over 50 degrees for Marguerite Cosentine of Australia. Now back into her rhythm. You see the fans enjoying all the spectacular snowboarding we've seen here near Valdez, Alaska, in the rugged Chugach Mountain Glacial Range. <laughs> There is a difference on the way the men and the women are scored. The women from 10 to 1, while the men from 42 to 1. That does not mean that one gender rides better than the other, as you can easily see. A push in on Tina Basich from Salt Lake City, Utah, with a helicopter blades whirling in the background, taking more riders to the top. Basich is one of the best known snowboarders in the sport. Skate chaser and a half piper before moving into free riding existence. Not much big mountain experience, but looking pretty good right here. Flashback to Freestyle Day. The day when our World Cup competitor really showed her stuff. The air bear off of the big cornice and a nice recovery. A little later on, a little lesser of a cornice, but a nice landing. Good scores by the judges. Back live to the beaten up snow of Mount Billy Mitchell and Basich with some good turns and excellent edge to edge control. Remember the top, the big open shoots of chowder powder. Here in the middle section, much steeper, much less room for mistakes. And sweet turn by Tina Basic in Salt Lake City, Utah. Back to the pow pow on top and ripping it up, Julie Zell, the defending women's champion. Sweet powder turns. Zell can turn up the volume as well on the downhill day, a dynamite display of aggressive speed with control in the deep powder. Oh, and a big bonk on the wind lifter water bar. Those can really turn hospital air. Up in there. Flashback on freestyle day, and Zell shows she can get fat in the air as well. A little bit of a difficult landing, but the judges will score her well because of a remarkable recovery into the fat powder. A good run for Julie Zell, but not nearly as clean as last year when she won the championships. Another six section, this steep cliff area strewn with chocolate chips or exposed rocks. Julie Zell again taking a nice, difficult line that will score well with the judges. <laughs> Julie Zell on Extreme Day, now trying to dial in the dominant run and repeat as the Budweiser O'Neill women's champion. And a good score for Julie Zell. Next on course, Jane Mauser from Snowbird, Utah, where she teaches snowboarding. 
deep and deep should be no problem for this gal. She's also been instrumental in trying to hook up PSIA with programs for snowboarders. Nice carving in the powder and downhill day. Yeah, she was a demon there too. Look at the speed they carry through this iffy snow conditions. Freestyle day, she can flip with the best of them. A tough landing will count against her with the judges. Back to extreme day. She's trying to pick her way through the chocolate chip section. Big hit of air would count well for her right here. Not much left, but a flash through the powder and down. Hang on to your hats, more high-flying insane terrain action coming up. Being out, out in the wilderness, out in the huge peaks like this, it's pretty mind-boggling, makes you feel small. If you're not scared when you're up there, you shouldn't be there. Unbelievable snowboarding terrain of the Chugach Mountain Range near Valdez, Alaska. Three great days of competition. On course right now, Jason Ray, AKA Rockstar. He's from Utah, up and comer on the extreme circuit. His fellow snowboarders say he's a great guy to party with. Real fun, always the life of the party. See if you can translate that to snowboard style. Nice front edge grab there. Again, this is the first time these competitors have seen this hill. They're picking their way, and the degree of difficulty in line is part of the scoring process. Looking for a hit here. Spectators spurring him on. Oh, and a big hit. Oh, and off of the rocks. But Wow, oh what a monster air by Jason Ray from Utah. And that's the reason they wear helmets. From the young jibber to one of the old style riders, Steve Klassen, highly respected in Mammoth, California, where he runs a couple of sports shops. He's a mountain biker in the summer. This is his sixth year in Alaska for the extremes. A very stable border. Very calculating. Not much in terms of the frills department. He's been to every snowboard event ever held in Alaska. Great ambassador to the sport. Also carries a bulletin board computer website. You see he carries great speed on downhill day. Look at him flash this run. Real tough to keep the fluidity when you're fearing for your life. Again, this is a three-discipline contest, speed, freestyle, and extreme on extreme day. They're looking for the all-around best snowboarder every day as a new test. On freestyle day, this was Klassen. Nice landing and a huge air. Now back to extreme day. Trying to slash through the powder, strewn through these cliffs in the middle section of the course. Klassen from Mammoth, California, having an excellent run. Back up top to Matt Whitlock. Whitlock, one of the young jibbers in the sport, really trying to make a show in this extreme competition. Extreme day is called soul style because it's a chance for the competitors to show everything they've got. 
On downhill He's day, smoking. speed was a Fair need enough, for everyone. Big air, that won't count against you. In fact, the judges love that kind of aggro. Nice low profile. Hands out front, great control. Slashing through the powder. Yeah. Nice little fakey and back live to extreme day. What's this guy got planned here? Again, this is right above the judges. A chance to really show some style. He's almost to the decision point of which way he's going. Oh, he's doing it. Here we go. Looking for a hit. It doesn't give you too much exposure. Matt Whitlock with a nice run, 75 total points. More smoking snowboard stuff still to come. Hang tight. The beautiful Chugach Mountain Range and Mount Billy Mitchell, the site for the King of the Hill Snowboard Competition. And up on the hill, Alex Warburton, one of the top free riders in the world. He's been snowboarding since day number one. Excellent style, fluidity, and always aggressive. All the tools of a great snowboarder, plus being fearless. Flashback to downhill day every venue led into the next. Downhill, getting yeah. used to the speed and the exposure. Freestyle day, air and speed come into play. And extreme day, where air and speed are combined with technique and delivery. Alex Warburton slashing through the powder chowder to the bottom right in front of the judges. Yeah. 117 total points for Alex Warburton. <laughs> Julie Zell, our 1995 Queen of the Hill, a repeat champion in the Budweiser O'Neill King of the Hill Snowboard Tournament. Flashing through the super pow. Julie Zell leaves no doubt who's the best woman's extreme snowboarder in the world. That's the word, man. It's extreme. <laughs> it still is. It's not going away. And congratulations to our men's winner, Steve Klassen. The man with all the tools and all the moves put him on display today and wins big. Our final standings in the 95 Budweiser O'Neill King of the Hills. Steve Klassen wins it. Alex Warburton second. Darren Mattingly third. For the women, Julie Zell on top. Jane Mauser second. Marguerite Cosentine is third. From the rugged Chugach Range near Valdez, Alaska, this has been the King of the Hills Snowboard Tournament. Produced by JSP International Video in association with ESPN. Clothing provided by Planet Snow with accommodations provided by the Glacier Sound Inn. Time. The 1995 Budweiser O'Neill King of the Hill Snowboard Tournament. Brought to you by Budweiser. Beach Wood Age Budweiser, the king of beers. This bud's for you. And by Apocalypse Snowboard, made in the USA. From Valdez, Alaska, we'll see ya. <laughs>